So this question, again, is about reacting methane and oxygen, but it's a slightly different type of question. It's not asking you to calculate the overall energy change. It's not asking you to tell me if it's exo or endothermic. It's asking you to explain what happens in terms of bond breaking, bond breaking. So we give an overall equation, methane plus oxygen goes to CO2 and water. And the key point is 818 kilojoules is given out to the surroundings for each formula mass, each mole of methane that reacts. The methane gas will not burn in oxygen until the light this flame is applied, but once lit, it continues to burn. Explain why energy must be supplied to, sp to start the reaction, but continues by itself once started. So before we can do anything, before we can get the methane to burn, you have to break the bonds in the methane. And bond breaking is endothermic, it requires heat. So first thing is the energy needs to be put in to break the bonds. Put in to break the bonds. Because remember, before you can have a chemical reaction, you've got to break the bonds so they can rearrange to give us our products. And we're told the energy is given out. So because the energy is given out, we know it's exothermic. So we can then say that the energy released when new bonds are formed, energy is released, it's better grammar, when new bonds are formed, So what does that mean? And because the energy is released when new bonds are formed, so once you start this off, this energy that's released the energy that's released because exothermic breaks more bonds. And the reaction continues. So, once you've started the reaction, the energy it's given out breaks the bonds from the stuff that hasn't reacted and the reaction keeps going. And you know this instinctively because if you put a lit match to methane, it goes whoosh. And that shows that the reaction is keeping going by itself. It's self-sustaining. The question then goes on to say, sketch an energy level diagram for the reaction and indicate on the diagram the net energy release. And we have energy up the side and time along the bottom. So because it's exothermic, the starting material, the reactants, methane and oxygen, we get that from the equation. There, goes there. And the products are at the bottom. Remember to put the balancing in, two and two. And you've got to put a bit of energy in, usually like a spark or a match, to start it off. And it goes like that. This distance there between the top of the hump for an exothermic reaction and the energy level of your starting material is called the activation energy. And this distance here is the energy that the reaction gives out. And we know that because it's mentioned in the question. It says 818 kilojoules. So note that distance there. The difference in energy is 818 kilojoules.